Hey guys! Um, if you are watching the replay, throw me hashtag replay so I can say thanks for watching. Um, I, if you can't tell, I moved things. Um, because I really wanted to show this off. This is my giant selfie trunk. The whole thing collapses down if I don't have it so full of makeup. This is all the makeup that I have. This No, this isn't even all of it. I think I have... I have a makeup bag full of other stuff too. Like it's just insane the amount of makeup I have. Like so much. And this doesn't even include my skincare. This is all the makeup that I have either gotten for free or at a discount. It's insane. There's a lot of it. Um, we are going to really quickly, really quickly get some makeup on. It's Friday. Do you guys have any awesome plans for your Friday? If you do let me know or any plans that are exciting for your whole weekend I want to know about them I am super pumped because Shay has his first football game tomorrow and I'm kind of excited I wish it was hockey but it's football so it's okay I am starting off with my Uology protecting veil that I made see you guys I have so much stuff I don't even have places to put things um and then I'm throwing my primer on over top of it. I have not been able to get Riley to leave my side or off of my lap all day. So I just finally got to wash my face. And I do not like that. I like to wash my face. First thing in the morning, if you saw my post today, I wake up in the morning. I drink a glass of water to rehydrate. And then wash my face to rehydrate my skin and everything too. So I wash my face, do my whole skincare routine in the morning, and I usually put primer on over top um, with my SPF perfecting, protecting veil. I always want to say perfecting because we have the perfecting mask. Somebody ate, ate, there are teeth marks. Somebody ate the end of my lip exfoliator. But that's just gross. That's super gross. So I guess I will find a bonbon bon to wear for right now. And then my lips are dry. So I just wash my face. Now I need to rehydrate my lips. Um, usually while I am letting my primer set, I do my brows. And you guys, oh, you guys. If you want me to do a like deep in length live on how to do your brows, let me know. Um, I'm using our Brow Obsession Palette, and I am taking number three, which is this pink, and I go around my brow to like carve out and make... Sorry. I'm trying to focus and talk at the same time. Whew, my mom brain is just not having it today. Um, it makes it so that way when I go to put my brows on or fill them in, that if I accidentally mess up, it's easier. It helps blend them. It helps them look really sharp. So I am just taking that pink color and going on the other side. And when I go to put my foundation on, it will blend out and get rid of that pink line that I did. So it's not like I'm stuck with that pink line. It blends out. It gets covered up. That's why I do my brow first because then when I do my foundation it's all covered up if you guys need color match for the stick foundation because of course I'm showing the stick foundation again today because it was my favorite ever hey Amanda I have no kids with me right now Riley's actually like half asleep in front of the TV it's a miracle which not necessarily because I think he's coming down with something. He has been laying on me all day long. Oh my goodness, you guys, there's just so much makeup on this thing. Um, there it is. Okay, my stick foundation, you guys. Uh, girl, it is not the replay. You are watching it live. Live, coming at you. The stick foundation, you guys. I have been using the stick foundation gosh let me think about this 
this has been since January? It couldn't have been since January. <laughs> oh, the live thing wasn't popping up in the corner first. I think it's been since January, and I'm... I still have about half of it left. Has it been since January? Now I'm really, like... I'm going to have to go back through my orders and figure out when I got it because I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure it was January, but anyway, simple, easy. I am literally swiping this on. Um, and then I'm going to go back in and fill in my brows the rest of the way. And swiping on a little bit, little tiny bit with a slightly darker color. So I'm right in between the two shades. Um, I could probably get away with just the scarlet, but... I want to act like I have more of a tan than I do, so I'm just going to act like I need a little bit of the darker color. And then all you do is you blend it. Like, so easy. You could use any nice, dense brush. You want to make sure the brush is dense, because if it's too fluffy of a brush, it's going to absorb all the product. So I'm using a dense brush. And it... It doesn't absorb the product into it, and it just blends it out really nice and easy. You guys, I love it. And look, that nice pink line is gone. Okay. But if I go to do my brows now, and I mess it up, like it, I don't know what it does, but it like protects my face from getting it. Why does this brush look like somebody played with it? <sighs> Not asking questions right now. Don't even want to know. Don't even want to know. That's what I think about half of my stuff. Okay, back to the brows. Um, I am just taking number two color here, which is one is a little bit lighter, two is a little bit darker. I have a hair going right through my brow. There we go. I don't need to make that hair darker. I am lining the outside with the darker color. And then I usually fill in with a mix of the two. I'm just using little tiny brush like strokes so that way it kind of looks natural. Because if you do just like a perfectly straight line, it might not look as natural. You can and have those like perfect looking drawn on brows. Oh yes. But I'm not being fancy today. I am totally In chill mode today. I do have to carve this brow up a little bit more because like this one brow does not go up as high as this brow. So I make it look like it does. And then right on that side. And not fancy. I went down a little too far on this brow. All you do is take the other side of your brush and I like wipe over it and it's gone. That's why I love using that pink powder. Okay, really quickly. Oh, I gotta get my brows filled and I can finish up my face a little bit. Just a tiny bit. I think I really just need some concealer and a tiny bit of blush today. I am a blush girl. I have found that most people who say they don't like blush brush. <laughs> Most people say they don't like blush. It's because they haven't found the right color. Um, it's just like with foundation. If you are going for the wrong shade for your skin tone, it's not going to look as natural. So a lot of times I found that somebody who has either super pink skin or not very pink skin is picking like a shade that's the opposite and then it looks completely unnatural. You want to find something that looks like you're naturally blushing. Where is... There we go. And then I just take my brow pencil and I take the spoolie side of it and brush through my brows. And that's just making sure that if there's any excess product, it's getting off my brows so it doesn't come off later. Yes. Okay. If you guys had any questions from watching the skincare live last night, 
or if you didn't watch it, go back and watch it. If you did have any questions about the skincare live while I'm trying to figure out what I did with my blush, my concealer, blush. This is the one downside to having a giant thing of makeup. I never know where anything is, but I have to put it all in here and lock it because otherwise Ellie plays with it. That is not what I'm looking for. Is it? Do I have it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Whew. Crisis averted. All good. Whew. And I literally take... I don't know why you guys can see that. It is like a tiny dot. Tiny dot. And put that back in there. And then I like to use a concealer brush. Um, you can also use... I think I have that in here. I know. I have blending buds, but somebody bit the end off of it. I'm just putting that in the trash. I don't know why I still have it. That is pretty much how everything in my house looks right now. If it's not a dog, it's a kid. They are all ridiculous. So I use... Seriously, I don't know what Rose is barking at. <laughs> don't worry, Riley's got it all in control for me. Um... If you guys watch the skincare live, you have questions or if you have a skincare concern that you don't want to comment on there. I know skincare is a little personal. You don't want to go commenting on there. If you've got, you know, an acne problem or if you think you have starting of wrinkles or anything like that, you don't necessarily want to comment about it. I totally get it. Feel free to just message me and I can help you. You don't have to comment on there. And I know. It took me a long time to open up about my skincare. And my pictures that I post are from February. And it took me four months to actually go back and look at the pictures and be like, wow, it really made a difference. I should post this so people can see it and be like, I finally did it because you guys deserve to see it. Um, my skincare, you guys, in six days of finding the right, I did have to send back, um, my boosters. I didn't feel like it was really doing what I wanted it to do, which is the great thing about our Love It Guarantee. It works on the skincare too, so I was not 100% in love with my boosters. Um, I felt like I was still, like, breaking out really bad. There is a, like called purging period when you first start a skincare and I'm like just blending out the blush a little bit. I'm a little heavier on one side than the other. Um, there is a purging period when you first start a skincare regimen. Yeah, I'm totally not doing any eyeshadow today, you guys. Um, actually, hold on. What time is it? Do I have time? I do have time. I'm just gonna throw on a quick, a quick color or two. We'll keep it neutral though, to make it easier. Um, if I'm in a hurry, you guys, I just use my blending brush. I just use my blending brush and that is it. Uh, I'm gonna take the color Gullible and I'll show it to you in a second. I'm just going right into my crease and blending it at the same time. Super quick and easy. Um, gullible right here. It is my second darkest color. And let's see. I will take... I think this is... Tra yep, Transcendent. So it's right here in the middle. It's a lighter nude. Always tap your brush off. Don't blow on it, you guys. I'm just kind of popping that on my lid. I usually clean my brushes in between using them, but we in a hurry today. Like that, and then I'll just throw like a tiny bit of shimmer over top. I don't know if I've used this one yet. Oh, I have. That's antsy. It's this one. Joyful. Hmm. I don't know if I've used it. I don't want to use that brush though. And 
I'm just going to pop it right in the center of my lid with just a tiny bit of shimmer because I like shimmer. That's just me. I totally lost what I was talking about before I randomly decided to start doing eyeshadow that I wasn't planning on. <sighs> That's my one thing that I love, though. I love doing eyeshadow. So, I kind of feel like I had to do it. And now I'm just wiping off my mascara. That helps um, your mascara not clump, just so you guys know. If you don't want your mascara to look clumpy, wiping your brush off as much as you can. You know what? I'm just going to take this one. Will help so you're not putting on as much mascara. And just twirling it through. Boom. Boom lashes, you guys. Quick and easy. I love everything to be quick and easy. Okay. Now what was I saying? Hmm. Setting spray. You cannot forget the setting spray. Except for, I might have to open up my new one. I go overboard with the setting spray, you guys. See how it gives you like that dewy finish? If you don't like the dewy finish on it, you can just use setting powder. Um, you just like push it in. Don't rub it around. Just push it in and it goes in and it sets. You don't want to rub it around. Okay. Oh, should we keep it simple with the lip too? What do you think, Amanda? Should we keep it simple with the lip or should we do a bold? Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to think of one I haven't used in a really long time. I just used Stellar the other day. I do settle all the time. Okay, hold on. Let's see. I'm not going bright red or bright pink. Um, 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 um. You have, oh yes. If you do have oily skin and setting powder, it is a must. Mine, ever since I started using the day cream with oil control in it, mine hasn't been nearly as bad. But I do tend to use the setting powder and then do setting spray on top. Because I like my makeup to stay in place. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, you guys, I just don't know. I can't decide. Now I'm going to lip stains. Hold on, let's see. Sucker Punch, Starstruck. Who haven't used Starstruck in a while? Skittish is another one. It's just a little too bright. Do a fall color. Mm, I could, oh, you know what? I could do Stoic, okay? I have, ooh, yes. This is my fall color. I have another fall color I really want to get. And I think I, like, every time I'm like, eh, I'm not going to get it. And then I think it's fall. And I'm like, yeah, I need to get it. So. I'm gonna order that now. I have some Y-Cash that I could use. But look at this, you guys. So fall. It kind of matches my sweater a little bit. I'm looking into a dirty mirror. <laughs> um, apparently somebody played with a lot of things recently. Yeah, that's it's from when I moved everything. And I'm talking all day and that's sick. Not easy. So when I do the cupid's bow on the front, I take the tip when I'm doing a bold color. If I'm doing a light nude, I don't worry about it as much. But I will go from the top of my cupid's bow and go like down and then the other side. So it almost like makes an X in the front. And then fill it in. It helps your cupid's bow. It 
have that really nice point to it. And it also keeps um, a good straight line. Just like with everything else, I wiped the entire wand off before I used it, and then I kind of just like twirl it back into itself so you're not wasting any product. It is a good fall color. Thank you for suggesting that. All right, you guys, I gotta go get the kids off the bus. For not wanting to do my eyeshadow, it turned out really awesome. I'm gonna have to post a picture. Um, I'm like so losing my train of thought today. Uh, you guys rocked and I have to dump an ice water over top of my head this weekend. So yay. <laughs> um, so look forward to that. Uh, if you want to see me do something like that again, or if you like really desperately want me to do the other things, throw me a message and maybe we can like, if enough people want me to do all the things, we might work something out. Um, why did I just say that? I need to go. Apparently I'm just agreeing to let you guys have fun. Um, I will be live tomorrow super early, if I wake up on time, to do a black and orange eye look for my son's first football game, which I'm super pumped about. So be ready for that. If I don't have time to do it live, I might just post a picture and then tomorrow night I'll come back on and show you how I did it. But, oh, yep, I hear the bus. I'm going to go run and greet the kids at the door. Have a great day, guys. Bye.